Good Monday. Today is Cookware Corner where we're just talking. Yeah, we've got three pans. I know the thumbnail only had two pans, but we've got three. Which one is a Magnolite? And the Robinson Mirage. We have to talk about that because we did refinish the handles. Recently I made a video about Forever Cookware. I picked up a brand new set. I don't know when they were made. Early 80s, late 90s. Which of these three pans is a Magnolite? I'm going to tell you. There are two here. That's where the mystery begins. This is the Magnolite everyone knows and loves. This is an authentic Wagner Magnolite. At one point in Magnolite's history, they were acquired by GHC, General Housework Corporation. And that's where you get the professional, which is hard anodized. The logo changes on the bottom. It doesn't say Wagner anymore. It says GHC. Those are still highly coveted. As we move forward in time, you might find some that say classic that are made in China. What we have here is a real mystery to me because I can't find any information about it. We know that some in the later days were made in China. This was made in Korea. And you would think it's a forever like this one, Forever Cookware, but it's not. Let's move it. Let's move it in the back. Magnolite, and it says ten slash zero zero. Is that the date? Was this made in two thousand? Same handle, same knob. If you didn't know any better, you would think these were the same, but they're not. We're going to set this aside. We know these. We love these original Magnolites. There's one visible difference, and that is the Magnolite pan is much more glossy, much more polished. It's a highly polished pan. The Forever is just not quite as shiny. Also, the Magnolite pan feels heavier. Otherwise, you wouldn't know the difference. Were the Forever pens made in Korea? I've not been able to find out. There's very little information left about Forever cookware. Let's take the handles off and weigh them. We have Forever and we have Magnolite. Forever. It's 14.75 ounces. Magnolite made in Korea. Ow. One pound point five ounces. Does that mean that there is magnesium infused in this aluminum? There is more solder here. They have the same bolt attachment. So it's Monday! Cookware Corner! Just a little geeky fun. What was the other thing we're gonna do? Oh yeah! Robinson Mirage Glass Cookware! We were finished the handles! Oh, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. But it's freaking cute. Okay, this is for the handles. Made in Taiwan. Very thin glass. That looks like a one and a half quart. This is a nice size pot. Wow. Maybe this is a three quart. Could that be a one and a half and a three quart? Or a two and a half, two and a half? It's cute. It's very attractive. The handles are small. 
Let's put the handles on. The finish is crap. Maybe I'll refinish it. It's cheap wood. You've got a little metal screw thing there. I think I'll I think I'll refinish these. I have time. It's a cutie. I think they'll look really nice once I refinish the handles. Robinson Knife Industries! Sadly, I didn't film refinishing the handles, but let's go through what I did, just in case you want to do something similar. I did not strip the original finish. Sometimes that can be a problem because it may react to the wipe-on poly. When it does react, sometimes the wipe-on poly doesn't dry and it remains sticky. Fortunately, that did not happen here. I took the original handle, I took some 400 grit, sanded the finish off. When I was satisfied that all the finish was off, I poured some wipe-on poly into this little cup, dipped into the wipe-on poly, wiped the top, and did strokes around, try not to miss any. And then I stuck it on there to dry. One coat, 10 to 12 hours, another coat, 10 to 12 hours, another coat, 10 to 12 hours. The next day, I sanded it again. Two more coats, one, waited 10 to 12 hours, did it again. Then I took some four, zero, 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 one, two, three, four. Zero, 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 zero steel wool, and I lightly wiped it down and gave it one last coat. And here we have all three that have been sitting for about three days, newly refinished. I don't know, can you see the glare? They've got a very nice look compared to what they used to look like. Silliness.